There's an old Viking saying, a family that pillages together, villages together. I couldn't think of anything better that rhymed with pillages. <laughs> Hey there, Norse gods and goddesses. Welcome to D-News, my name is Trace. Vikings were a fantastic seafaring people from Northern Europe who landed in North America a thousand years ago. We know they did because of archeology, span a science not often covered on D-News, which is kind of sad. In the 60s, a theory was presented that Vikings landed in Canada in 1000 CE. And in 2002, the finding was confirmed when they found a Viking longhouse in Newfoundland. Once they identified what the structure was, the claim that Cristobal Colon, AKA Columbus, was the very first from Europe to set foot here was debunked. Thanks, science. Now, new research shows that they didn't go alone either. According to research in the Royal Society Philosophical Transactions B, obviously one of your favorites, DNA evidence shows the gentleman Vikings brought lady Vikings with them. Maybe not necessarily to the New World, but during their other conquests, definitely. Previously, research held that Viking women stayed home while the men headed out to sea to establish colonies, pillage and plunder around the north of Europe. Then later, the ladies would move over too. But thanks to DNA, now we know better. Researchers from the University of Oslo took the mitochondrial DNA of 45 Norwegian skeletons that ranged in the ages from 769 to 1066 AD. Mitochondrial DNA is only passed via the mother because it comes from the cytoplasm of egg cells. They compared this DNA to previously analyzed DNA of ancient Icelanders. Norway is 914 miles from Iceland, by the way, so this is a pretty good distance. They then compared the DNA of those two groups to 5,000 modern people from Scotland and their northern islands, England, France, Germany, Sweden, and of course, Norway. What they found was the mitochondrial DNA was too similar to be a coincidence. Viking women would have had to have come along with the men as they spread along the coast, colonizing and pillaging as one big happy family. All this is fine and dandy, of course, but before you start picturing people who look like they came from the Iron Islands and Game of Thrones, more research in the journal Viking Archaeology found Vikings were not defined as dirty, brutal, cruel people. They were settlers and explorers sending their ships across the curve of the horizon to spread their culture. Instead of pillaging, this new research shows that longhouses were built to help integrate the culture of their new land into their own. The researchers excavated longhouses dating from 900 AD and discovered the Vikings wielded politics, diplomacy, and a bit of public relations to show their wealth and power to the locals. They didn't just use their swords. According to the author of The Vikings, which was published in 2010, these conquerors weren't only pirating seafarers. I mean, they were a little bit, but were also politicians, explorers, navigators, and craftsmen. Now we know that they were family-oriented too, and not unlike NASA, these were people probing the mysteries of the farthest reaches of their world. No wonder we're still fascinated by these people today. So what do you think of Vikings? Are they cool? More into conquistadors maybe? Byzantines? Ancient India? Get historical down in the comments and subscribe for more D-News. <laughs>